Have you ever had the thought that goes something like this? Um, I, I would really like to surrender every aspect of my life to God and, and answer yes to what He has, but I'm afraid of what He might require me to give up. Well, if you have, I can assure you, you are not the first one to ever think that. And so I'm gonna read a couple verses from the book of Luke chapter nine, uh, verses three and four, that will uh, really give us some insight in, into this area. And here's how these verses read. And he said to them, take nothing for the journey, neither staffs, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not have two tunics apiece. Whatever house you enter, stay there, and from there, depart. Now, I don't know about you, but as soon as he had told me not to take any food, um, that probably would have been a big uh, deterrent um, for me. One of the things that in, in, the, in the cultural context here that we're gonna see is this hospitality was a big, a big thing. And as hosts were opening up their homes, Jesus gave some specific instructions that went like this. He said, whatever home that they come to, they were just to, to go in there and to abide and not jump from house to house. Well, why? Well, what was the point of that? Well, it's very easy. Instead of making our mission, uh, the mission that Christ has enlisted us in, it's very easy to make our mission, our comfort, and our convenience. But Christ is saying here, I don't want you to be distracted. Um, I don't want you to be sidetracked with the peripheral stuff in life. Now, if you were talking to us today, he may say something like this. Um, I don't want you to take your iPhone. I don't want you to take your iPad. And I want you to leave um, those games behind. Why? Because sometimes um, Christ knows that he has to completely strip us of those things that we put our security um, and our comfort in in order to get us to really focus on the mission of life. So let me ask you a question in closing. What is it that God has called you in for what is it that he has equipped you to do and what has he sent you out to do? You need not to fear that as you discern uh, the answer to that question, that whatever he calls you to leave behind, it will be far worthwhile.